First off, we'll start with the settings. It's key to make sure that these are set up correctly so the optimization circuit provides you suits your requirements. Settings can be found in the bottom left hand corner here and you'll have a number of options that will appear. You'll have your personal profile and your team profile. We'll also have team settings and you can change your settings here to make sure they suit your needs. You can change the time unit, the distance unit, the currency you operate within, the cost per hour, cost per mile, and even the driver preferences as well. Driver permissions allows you to have full control over what your drivers can and can't do with the optimized routes that you send to them or they create in their mobile app. Currently, I have them locked, but if you want to be very specific about certain areas that they can or can't change, you can uncheck or choose to check them. Same goes with the general permissions over here. Proof of delivery and customer notifications go hand in hand. You have the ability to turn proof of delivery on or off for the whole account and choose the default that each stop will always go back to. Notifications can be sent via text and or email and you can choose the type of time window a customer would receive, set the minimum and maximum, and then also I send customizable messages. The first will be the scheduled, which is sent when the driver starts the route. The second is either when the driver marks a stop off as successful or failed. By clicking in to these messages, you'll be able to customize these to suit your needs. Within your account, you'll be able to create as many depots as you need to. So it will always require at least one depot and it'll be your main depot. You will ask for a name, a start location, a start time, and a finish location, or at least how you want your drivers to finish their routes. There is an optional end time, and we do need to know on average how long your drivers spend stationary at each stop, because it will help calculate and optimize the routes in the best way possible. Delivery zones allows you to build geographical areas out on a map. Very much like you can see in front of me here, each of these areas belongs to one particular driver, but you can have more than one driver belonging to each zone. Circuit for Teams has a two-way API that allows you to integrate with whatever software you're already using internally. It will allow you to build and optimize and distribute routes to your drivers directly. Team members allows you to add new users to your team with different permissions. There are four different roles you can assign to one of your team members. You've got the administrator, the dispatcher, the read only, and the driver account. The driver can access the mobile app, which they will receive their optimized routes and turn by turn directions. They can be added to the team via email address or phone number, whereas the other three roles that access the dashboard that you're seeing right now can only be added via email address. Now moving on to Circuit's core functionality, route optimization. You'll first need to get your stop data or information into Circuit for us to be able to optimize a route. There are three main ways for you to do this on the web dashboard. You can either manually enter the stops one by one, import via a spreadsheet or a CSV file, or integrate with Circuit's API. This is Circuit's example spreadsheet. Within here, you'll be able to see what the mandatory information is and what's optional. As you can imagine with mapping software, the address information is mandatory. So the more address information you have here, the more accurate circuit will be when optimizing the routes for you and your team. Everything else is optional from column H onwards, and you can see here represented in the gray. But the more information you include here, the more efficient your drivers will be and the better the optimization will work. If you have time windows to abide by, please include them. You can specify how long you need a driver to be stationary at a stop the recipient name, email address and phone number, and much more. To get the data in, you, all you need to do is create the route from a spreadsheet and select the day that you're creating the route for. Optionally, you can choose to name the route to whatever you need to, so I'll call this demo version one. I'll create the route, so it will ask you to upload your file, select your file, and map accordingly. 
This has already been pre-mapped, but there is another guide available that will show you exactly how to do this. Once you are happy, click Review, click Continue and Submit. After a handful of seconds, Circuit will pin all the stops on a map from a bird's eye view so you can visualize where all these stops are and the areas the drivers will be operating within. You can see in my example here, this covers a majority of Central and Greater London. We have 56 stops and we'll be adding our drivers. Now, in this scenario, I'm going to add four drivers. They all start and end in the same location, but they will all operate in different optimized areas. If you want to, you can go through each of these stops and manually check them and add more information in. But in this case, to save time, I'm going to create the driver routes straight away. Again, after a handful of seconds, Circuit will optimize the routes and show you what those routes look like. What you can see now on your screen is the dashboard that we've just been going through, but also the mobile app the drivers will be using. Once you're happy with the optimized routes to send to your drivers, all you need to do is click this button at the bottom left hand corner of your screen and it will send it through after a couple of seconds. When a new route has been sent through to a driver, it instantly populates on their phone and they will be notified if they don't have the mobile app open. When they open a new route, they'll be able to preview it. They can reverse the route. They can load the vehicle from back to front or whatever way best suits you. When they do start the route, it will instantly update, not only for the driver, but also on the dashboard as well. And if you click into a specific route, you could highlight that from a, uh, say from a dispatcher's point of view. The dot here is the live location of the driver at the time, and you'll be able to monitor them as they progress through the route. You'll also be able to see the ETA's update as the driver mark stops off as completed or failed throughout the day. For example, on the mobile app here, I'm going to mark the first stop off as completed successfully. I can choose whatever I need to uh, that's appropriate for that stop, such as other. I can collect a photo, an e-signature, a note for the recipient if you have the notifications turned on via SMS and or email and you can use a note for internal use as well. Once you're happy, you can click Submit. This instantly populates on the dashboard, so you'll be able to see this going forward. The same goes with a failed delivery as well. If you want the driver to collect an e-signature, I will do a demonstration now, as it was left in a safe place, and we're gonna add a signature. You can take a sign e name and mark it as complete. They submit it and it will instantly update on the dashboard here. If you click into that particular stop, you will be able to see that information. You'll be able to see where the driver was and where they should have been and even the distance between those two locations. This continuously updates on the dashboard throughout the day as your driver interacts with the mobile app. If they press navigate, they'll be taken into their navigation app of choice, that being Google Maps, Waze, Apple Maps, or whatever navigation app that best suits you. They'll be able to see the notes, the rest of the address information, and any other information you decided to include for each and every stop going through. We've now covered the main functionalities of Circuit, the web dashboard where you've created your routes, and the mobile app that the drivers will be using. But that isn't just it. There's many more features and functionalities within Circuit that could, you could benefit from. There's analytical data that allows you to compare drivers, teams, and even depots against each other across a custom period of time. You can export this data in a monthly format in a simple or detailed manner. You can also search all your previous route history by typing in whatever relevant information is to that stop. We also have the live chat support available 24 seven in the bottom right hand corner. So if you have any further questions about this uh, demo or about circuit in general, please do reach out to them. They're always happy to help and there's guides and frequently asked questions also available. Thank you very much for your time and we look forward to hearing from you soon.